Hey guys, Grid here. Um, and I'm gonna start off my second tutorial by saying this is not beginner friendly. Um, you will still be able to do it as a beginner, but you won't be able to remember what to do. So, whenever you want to do it, you'll have to look back at the video. But let's get right into it. Um, I'm gonna just explain it to you real quick. It's basically when you have clans that you see like right when they hit a shot, like and the kill cam comes up. So it just looks really clean like that, but I've seen FaZe do this and Obey do it, like, right when you hit the shot, the kill cam comes up, and the f plus 500 in yellow comes up also, and it looks really clean, I think, and a lot of people do it. Anyways, I don't know exactly how they did it, but I came up with my own way, and I think this looks pretty much like it. It looks clean enough, and it works for me, so that's what it looks like, basically. By the way, I'm just gonna say, this is not a good shot, it's just for... Tutorial sake, I just used it because you know it's a good shot, dude. Add it on, anyways. So that's what it looks like. It will load. Oh, here we go. All right. Good job, sir. And as you can see, he hit the shot, and you can see the kill cam came up, and then the 500, 500 came up. Also. So, you know, kill cam. I was going to add some Twitch, but it didn't look as well. Anyways, so, kill cam, and the 500 comes up, and syncs with the Twixter. And, so, I'm going to go to this comp, which is where I have everything. Um, so, I turned this one off. It is actually like that, but this is just another temp. Let me just do something, um, alright, so, anyways, um, I'm gonna, this is just, like, it with only the, um, it's, it's pre-rendering, with only the kill cam, so, so, anyways, we have this, and, let's turn this back on, and so, you can see it's just like this, so, what you wanna do, is you wanna start off by going to, you see, right where the biggest part is see all right let me just tell you this real quick um you want to take the clip and put an additional layer in so this is just the two layers kill cam and that so you want to put an additional layer with the clip in there so you that's going to be the clip where you have the 500 so you want to do this find where the 500 at, at its most i already cut it to where the 500 is you can see right here and the 500 is right here at, at its most right here, so I'm gonna cut it right there, and that's where you have it. And then I wanna do this. I wanna go up to, I'm gonna right click on it, go to time, and I want to freeze that frame exactly, so it stays that frame no matter what I do. So once I have that, I wanna go up, you know, pretty high, like this, go up really close. I wanna put on full because we're gonna do is we're literally what we're, what we're doing is just we're masking it out. So, just use your pen tool and just put it around this. Doesn't have to be really well done, and I'll tell you why afterwards. Just you know, do that. Um. Oh yeah. And once you do that, click M for masks, and it's not gonna. And since it only has that, click inverted just for a while. It'll it will it'll show the opposite of that, but you'll be able to do everything else. So go like this. You know. You kind of do this to make it like more of like a circle like thing so it looks more clean. Just something that I like to do. And it makes it more of like a circle type shape thing. And just like make it go around, around and all. So let's do that really quick. And by the way, I'm not going to make this look very clean because this is just a quick tutorial. I don't want to make this too long. So. You can take, I, I suggest taking longer times on this, but, you know, however you want to do it. Oh, and this is important. You want to do, you don't, you don't want to do the outside one, the outside, one, like, mask, and then another outside one, then an inside mask, and another inside mask. You want to do an outside mask, then an inside mask, then an outside mask. And then another inside mask. And I'll explain to you in a little bit why this is important. 
or it is just a simple change, but it just makes things quicker. So now, since it's all messed up, now you can change this from inverted now since everything's already masked, or you can do that kind of. But I'm just gonna keep it on inverted for now. Anyways, so you click that tool up here, and you wanna click on that, and just you know use the um D-pad or whatever it's called. It's supposed to call an Xbox, but it has the four arrows and just like you can move it around by clicking on each one and move it closer. So I'm not gonna do much of this, but you can you know just move it close and make it better. You see that soft, so you move it up here, move that over here, and this over there. It's just a quick touch up because I don't want it to look like complete crap, but you know like that and stuff. So, but the cross is really off. The cross is. It's kind of important that it's close up and well done in a way. So click on the cross and and if it's a little bit off, it's not that much of a big deal because first of all, when you have it, it's gonna be on quarter like this. So you know it looks close enough. Um, instead of on full, it's just on full, so you can do it really well, get it well done. So you know, make the cross well, and then. Yeah, and then you can see like that's messed up, but you know all it has is just a quick fix. Again, I'm not, I'm just taking a small amount of time. See, I'm probably gonna use this in my episodes so you can see it in an episode, but probably only once because this takes a while to do. So then another reason why it doesn't really matter that much if it's a little bit off, put on quarter and move back twice, and as you can see, it kind of just looks normal. I mean, you know, kind of looks normal. So uh, what you want to do then is I want to zoom back in actually. Find where, like, the two middle ones are, and, uh, find it, you know, it'll look like that right when I click on it right now, it'll look like that, and make it subtract, so that way the middle ones, like, see through also, and then go to the other one, which is right here, and put subtract also. Now, if you did it, like, outside, outside, inside, inside, all it takes is just to move the mask around until it has, like, outside, inside, outside, inside. So, that's where it is. Um, so you have a subtract, move it back. Anyways, so, then what I did is, you know, take this, move it to, I had it to start coming in right here. I think that's what I did. But, uh, you can go ahead and put the mask with it right now, it doesn't really matter. So, now you have your 500 right here. Um, sorry. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take this, and this is where I have all my numbers on, so I know all the numbers that I have to use um, for this. So, right here, make the position 442, and press P for position, and hold Shift, and press S to have them both. For scale, you just want scale, just press S, but hold Shift, and then press P to have them both, or whatever. So press 442, 442, and, um... And then you wanna where's then make the scale twenty six. Now that's what it looks like right when it pops up. So go up four frames. Let me just keyframe the scale in position. Keyframe those. Go up four frames. And what do I want to make this? After four frames, I wanna make it. I wanna make this to ninety six. And this to 536 so then those, that's what you look like so it like comes up you see so boom like that and um i did this frame by frame so this is accurate of what it looks like let me just move this like over here so and um then you can see i have the twixter so it's all warpy and like that but and then you, it would just go right back down but you want it to look like you have twixter so at the end i just put it down to 83 so if you want to go to the end and put it down to where is it and do that put it down to 83 it basically just like slowly moves down do I have a twixter? yeah I do so now if you want to pre-render it let's see Good job, 500 comes up and goes back down now this might not look too clean because I did do this really quickly, and this this may not be the official way, but you know it works. It gets the job done. So um, 
If you have any tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be doing a Slender video because I love that game so much. It's fun. And, you know, why not? Because uh, it's going to be kind of more like a uh, walkthrough slash just me playing it and getting scared because it startles me a lot. But, you know, I know where, I know some stuff. I'm probably not going to get eight pages, of course. But, you know, I know my way through the game, kind of. So, you know, that is how you do this. This is the original one. Good job, sir. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, I can cover them. Replying to your comments, let me know if you have anything you want to show me. If I have anything in OCEs you want me to show you how to do, show them in the comments below. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is good. Peace out.